Hi guys, here's your video on 5.4 sum and difference formulas. So after you're done watching the video, you should be able to use the sum and difference formulas. So since we are working with formulas, I would recommend that you get out your formula sheet and look at that as you're working through the notes in your homework assignment. This first slide shows you all of the formulas for the sum and difference. So the sum and difference formulas are when you're taking uh, sine, cosine, and tangent of two angles that you are either adding or subtracting. Now the key with using these formulas is using the right one and writing it down correctly. So let's go ahead and do a problem. So find the exact value of sine of pi over 12 and I want you to use the fact that pi over 12 is equal to pi over 3 minus pi over 4. So what I can do is I can rewrite this problem as sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4 instead of looking at it as pi over 12. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back at my list of formulas and I'm doing sine of, and it's a difference because you're subtracting. So I'm going to follow this formula. So that states that I am going to do, looking at my formula sheet, it's sine of pi over 3 cosine of my second angle minus cosine of my first angle times sine of my second angle. So you're literally just following the formula and then from there you're finding those exact values. So this is when you're going to use your hand trick. So sine is my y coordinate at pi over 3. Pi over 3 is my index finger. And my y coordinate when I put down my index finger is root 3 over 2. Cosine is my x coordinate. And my x coordinate at pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Again, just using the hand trick. Minus. Cosine of pi over 3 is my x-coordinate when I put down my index finger, so that's 1 half. And then sine of pi over 4 is my y-coordinate when I put down my middle finger, and that's uh, root 2 over 2. If it's helpful, you might want to write down your ordered pairs for each of those angles. So for example, pi over 3. When I was doing my hand trick, pi over 3 was the ordered pair 1 half root 3 over 2. And pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And then cosines your x, sines your y, cosines your x, sines your y. And then you just replace those um, values accordingly. Okay, now let's simplify the expression. So root 3 times root 2 is root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4 and we can combine this to a single fraction which gives us root 6 minus root 2 over 4 and that cannot be simplified any further so there is your answer. Alright, find the exact value of cosine of 75 and we're using the fact that 75 degrees equals 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. So I can write this as cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and write this out. I'm looking at my formula sheet. It is the sum because I'm adding. So it's cosine of u plus v. So that's cosine of 30, just following the formula, times cosine of 45 minus sine of my first angle, sine of my second angle. Oops. So it's 45. So I'm just copying the formula exactly how it is and then putting the angles in the right spots. Okay. So 30 degrees. 30 degrees is my index finger and my ordered pair for that, using my hand trick is root 3 over 2, 1 half. And then 45 degrees 
is my middle finger, so I'm going to put that down, and my ordered pair for that is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Cosine, or cosine sine, cosine sine, cosine x, sine is y. So cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. And cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Minus sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So I can simplify my expression. That gives me root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4, which I can combine to give me root 6 minus root 2 over 4. Now it's just a coincidence that both of these questions gave you the same exact answer, um, but yeah, just worked out that way. Alright, rewriting expressions. So what I'm giving you now is I'm giving you a fully expanded expression and we want to condense it. So you really need to pay attention to how your formulas are structured and then from there decide which formula you are going to use. So if I look at my two angles, I have u is pi over 7 and v is pi over 6. Now if I look at the expression, I have cosine cosine minus sine sine. So I'm looking at my formula sheet under my sum and difference formulas for cosine cosine minus sine sine. And that is equal to cosine of u plus v. Because that, when I look at my formula sheet, says cosine cosine minus sine sine. And my u is pi over 7. My v is pi over 5. So now I just need to add 1 7th to 1 5th. I'm going to use my calculator, change it back to a fraction, math bracket. That gives me 12 pi over 35. And there is your answer. For my second one, my u is 25 degrees. My v is 45 degrees. And what I'm looking at is I have sine cosine plus cosine sine. So I'm going to look at my formula sheet for sine cosine plus cosine sine. Searching, searching, sine cosine cosine sine. That is sine of u plus v. So my u is 25, my v is 45, so 25 plus 45 is 70, so 70 degrees. So that is going from the expanded version of the sum and difference to the condensed one. Okay, the last thing we're looking at is finding exact values when I give you um, sine of u and cosine of v, but I don't actually tell you what the angles are. So for this, it's very, very helpful to draw some triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and do sine of u is 4 fifths with this angle measurement in purple. So this is saying that u is in between 0 and pi over 2. So you need to pick a quadrant. So if you think back to your radians, 0 to pi over 2 is the first quadrant. So I'm going to draw my triangle in the first quadrant. So this is my angle u. And it says sine is 4 fifths, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So my opposite side is 4, hypotenuse is 5. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this third side, which is going to end up being 3. So there's my triangle for that first stipulation of sine of u being 4 fifths where u is in between 0 and pi over 2. My other one I'm going to do in green. And it says cosine is negative 12 thirteenths, where v is in between pi over 2 and pi. So pi over 2 and pi is my second quadrant, because it goes 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2 and then finally 2 pi. And it says, so this is my angle V, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, 
So that makes this side negative 12. Hypotenuse is 13. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for that third side. And the third side ends up equaling 5. Okay. So now what I'm trying to do is I am trying to find sine of u plus v. So I'm just going to write out the formula. So sine of u plus v is sine cosine plus cosine sine. So that's sine of u, cosine of v, plus cosine of u, and sine of v. And I'm just going to look at the appropriate triangles to get those ratios. So sine of u, I'm looking at this triangle over here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 4 fifths. Cosine of v, I'm getting down here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's negative 12 thirteenths. And then cosine of u, looking at this triangle, since that's my angle u, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 3 fifths. And then sine of v, looking at this one, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 5 thirteenths. And then I'm just going to take this entire expression, since there is no radicals, I'm going to take all of these fractions, plug them into my calculator. So I have 4 fifths um, times negative 12 thirteenths plus 3 fifths times 5 thirteenths. Change it back to a fraction, and that gives you negative 33 over 65. All right, so that concludes your notes for section 5.4, the sum and difference formulas.